no matter what you go through in your life, you should know that there are people that are suffering a lot more than you, that's for sure. For sure, for sure. You should know that for sure. And even if you think, no, but I'm suffering more than everyone, trust me, there are people that are suffering a lot more than you. And in that moment, you understand, I have a lot of things to thank Hashem Barach on. I have to thank Hashem and I have to praise Hashem. And I can recognize His good. And I can recognize the good thing that He's doing with us. And I can understand His kindness. And I can see if I'm going to observe and I'm going to try to believe that it's all coming from the kindness, from the, the open, wide and rich and wealthy hand of HaKadosh Baruch Hu. And he's also bringing storms, also bringing difficulties into my life. But I need to learn some lesson. I'm not saying immediately jump and thank Hashem Midbarach, hugs and kisses to Hashem Midbarach on your difficulties. I'm not saying to lie when you're suffering, when you have pains. I'm saying just to observe, just to look. The fact that it's hard for you to accept that it's from Hashem doesn't deny the fact that it's Hashem. It, it is Hashem. It's hard, so talk about it that it's hard for you. Ask Hashem in Barach, I want to understand how to thank you on that situation. Don't jump to thank you, yeah, thank you Hashem, thank you, thank you, thank you, like nothing happened. No, it won't be a, a, a real hit but a dude. Those words of thanks will not gonna come straight from your heart. It's gonna be fake, it's gonna be a lie. You're not really appreciate Hashem Barach on things that are bothering you now, on things that are disturbing your life now. You don't have that pure heart, but you can ask for that heart. You can start asking and begging, Hashem Barach, please, let me understand the ways of your supervision. Please, why are you doing that? Why every time I'm falling to the same situations? Why the same difficulties? Every time on Parnassah, every time on Shlom Bayit, every time with the children, every time with the house, every time... Everyone gonna 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 talk his situations to the Bodhidu, to the field. And when you have that simple faith that it's all coming from Hashem Brach and you observe and you look into those things, the things that you're gonna understand, the wisdom that you're gonna purchase from those situations, no one will ever gonna be able to teach you things and lessons like that you can learn alone in the field. The conclusions and the, and the clarity and the understandings that you're going to have, the wisdom that you're going to purchase in the field, in the Idbodadut, is going to be so, so huge, so, so awesome, so amazing, that, that, you, that you're going to feel the spiritual development, that you're going to feel closer to Hashem. And then you're going to be able to thank Hashem in Barach from a pure heart, from an honest heart. Just to say, if they were respecting me with their lips, with their mouth, and saying, thank you, Hashem, thank you, no, thank you. Th yeah, you need to say thank you, thank you, thank you. And the heart is far, and the heart is not happy from that situation at all. He's angry, he's frustrated, he's broken, and he's angry, and he wants to fight, and he doesn't know what to do with himself. And now, they told me I need to think. It's a lie. To think like that with a contaminated heart, with a broken heart, it won't be a real thank. It won't be a real um, sacrifice of, 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 of gratitude. It won't be korban toda. Korban toda is a sacrifice that you understand what you're doing. You understand that you sinned. You understand that you need to bring a sacrifice. You want to thank Hashem. You bring that sacrifice. You bring it. And then you give it. You offer it to Hashem. You confess on, on, on the sacrifices. You talk to Hashem. When you have a long process of your Yorit when your Yorit is coming from an honest place, then also the thanks... And the praises that you're gonna praise Hashem it Barach gonna gonna bring down that light that 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 gratitude and thanks are 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 holding are containing. It's just a temporary world that in this world in this period of time we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him, never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings of all of those husks. husks.